Welcome to a demonstration on how to customize various journal windows in Sage Simply Accounting program. This presentation is presented by iAccountingTraining.com and its sister site SimplyTraining.ca. By customizing your journal windows, it will save you time when entering transactions and moving around in the journal screens. In this recording, you will learn where to access the customized journal window feature. Turn off columns that are not required in journal windows and customize the tabbing order for moving from field to field. Now let's move to the Sage Simply Accounting program and get started. We're going to begin today with on, on the receivables page. When we are on the receivables page, each one of the journal windows will have a place to access where we can go in to customize a journal window. Let's begin with the sales invoice or the sales journal window. From the sales invoice icon, select the shortcut menu and select create invoice. The first journal window that we are going to customize is going to be the sales journal window. Notice all of the columns down below that we have currently displayed. Perhaps your company does not use projects, so we can hide that column. Or they may not use the base price and also the discount percentage columns. So any of these columns that you do not require, the column journal window can be customized to save you time from moving to, to and from those extra fields. So to customize and to access the journal window, let's go up to the view menu at the top of the window and go down and select Customize Journal. In the Customized Journals window here, you can see all of the journal windows that are displayed and also the selection to either customize the columns or the tabbing order. So let's begin with the Sales Invoice and by selecting the columns. In the window for Sales Invoices, you can see at the very top where it shows the form settings for the three different styles of templates of invoices that are available in Simply. We're going to demonstrate today the standard style, which is the default. Below that, we have the information or the columns that are currently being displayed, which are unchecked for the standard style. In this window is where we can customize which columns we do not want to see or we do not require. At any time, if you check them off, you can always go back into the customized journal window and turn them back on. Today's example, we're going to turn off projects. Our company does not use projects. We do not want to display the base price or the discount price. All the other columns are the columns that we are going to use. Let's select OK in the window here, and you'll see it'll return us back to the sales journal window, but it has hidden those specific columns. Now you can see the gray area at the side here. You can choose to restore the window. So let's go back up to view at the very top and you have the selection restore window. We're going to click on that and it's going to minimize the journal window. And in behind the scenes, Simply Accounting is automatically going to adjust the column size. So let's maximize the sales journal window and you can see we no longer have the gray side at the uh, side of the screen here and you can see that our journal windows um, columns have been uh, made to width. We can also in this window put our columns in order of our data entry. For example, if we like to have the price column beside our units, we can do that just by clicking on the price column holding our mouse down and you can see the column starting to drag. When we get it to where we would like it to be, just unclick your mouse and you'll see that we have moved the price column beside the unit column. So again there, you can customize your journal window to have the columns displayed that you want to see and also you can move the columns in the order of how you do your data entry for example, your sales invoices. Another item that I'm going to show you today is how you can customize the tabbing order. So if you know on your, your tab button on your keyboard, if you click or you press tab, it'll move you from field to field. Let me just select a customer to give us an example here. You'll see that the cursor is in the customer's name. When I press the tab button on the keyboard, 
I'm not sure if you can see this or not, but it goes to the push pin beside the customer's name. So each time we tab, it'll move us to a different field. Well, if you don't use some of these fields, you can customize the tabbing order that you want the tab button to tab into. So let's go back up into the view menu at the top here. Again, select Customize Journal Window. This time, I'm going to go into the tabbing order. So right now, all windows are set to the default tabbing order. To change it to a custom tabbing order, let's select the custom tabbing order button and you can see all the tabbing fields that simply is going to move to. So for example, that customer name uh, push pin, if we don't want the tab button to automatically go to it, we can select it and click on the remove button here and now the tab will not go to the customer's uh, name push pin. Also certain um, items, for example, uh, the date calendar, if we just type in the date, we can also remove. So any of these uh, fields that we, uh, we are tabbing to, if we want to skip over them, we can select and uh, put select and remove them from the tabbing order. So let's go ahead and select OK and go back to the customer's name. I'll press tab again and you'll see that it skipped the push pin here and it moved directly to the ship to address. So the tabbing order is available to customize in each one of the journal windows. Again, this will save you time when you're doing data entry of your transactions. You're not pressing the tab button so many times. So let's close out of the sales journal window and let's go to the receipts journal window because each one of the journal windows you can customize each one of the journals. Let's select the receipts shortcut menu, click on receipts here and again that's going to open up the receipts journal. Common columns that are hidden in the receipts journal is for example if your company does not offer the dis uh, a discount to their customers. So these two columns will probably never be used. So again we can hide them from the journal window. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's select the view button, select customize journal. Again we're customizing the columns and we're going to check up off to not display discount available and discount taken. Select OK and you'll see that it just has removed those two columns from the window. Let's move in now to the purchases window. So we're going to select the payables page. Let's display the purchase invoice window which is the purchases journal window. Now this is an example of many columns that are displayed and if you are a company, for example a service company, and you do not have inventory items, you might want to customize the journal window again to only display the columns that you require. So let me do an example of just a, a journal window of what you might use if you only enter in bills. Select the view menu at the very top of the window, select Customize Journal, also the columns, and uh, because you do not use inventory items, you can select to hide uh, certain uh, columns. So in this example, we're only going to have the description column displayed, show us the tax code and also amount and uh, it will always show us the account. Let's select OK in the window. Again, I would like to restore the window so that I don't have the gray at the very side. Select View and Restore Window so that will minimize the window and we'll just maximize again. Now also when we're in this window, I always like to put it into the order that I will be doing data entry. And so I always enter my subtotal amount before my taxes. So I'm going to click and move the amount column over before the taxes. So in this field, I can enter in the description. Next field is the amount, apply the tax code, 
and uh, also the account. So only the columns that you are going to use can display in the window. Again, this will save you time on your data entry. Also, in all windows, I will select the view here again and go into Customize Journal. You have the availability in all the windows to customize the tabbing order. So let's move now to the Payments Journal. So let's close out of the Purchases Journal window. The next window is let's go into the Pay Purchase Invoice window. In this window, again, if you are not offered discount available from your vendors, you can hide these columns. This time, instead of going to the View menu, also Customize Journal window is available in the toolbar. So you'll see the blue box to the red box, and you'll see the words that say Customize Journal. Let's click that button, and that will open up also the Customize Journal window. Let's select Columns, and we will just check off Do Not Show These Columns, Discount Available, and Discount Taken. Notice on your screen that it has removed those columns. Now, in the event that eventually you do have vendors that offer you those discounts, any of those journal or all, any of those columns in any of the journal windows can be brought back again. And that is very easy just by going back into the customized journal window, select columns, uncheck them, select OK, and you'll see that the columns have come back. Now I would probably again here go to view, ask simply to restore the window, and then maximize it and you can see that it's evened out the columns. The last journal window that we will display today is the general journal window which is found under the company page and the accountant's task. Click on the general journal and that will open up the general journal window. In this column, if you don't want to see the comments column or the allocation line for projects, we can hide those two columns. Let's select View at the top, Customize Journal Window, select Columns, and you can hide these two columns. So then viewing on your screen, you have just a selection of selecting your account number and letting simply know if that account is a debit or a credit. This concludes the presentation on how to customize your journal window in Sage Simply Accounting. Please take the time to visit our websites, iaccountingtraining.com or simplytraining.ca. We offer complete courses on the Sage Simply Accounting program, as well as create your own training packages that fit your needs. Pick from our list of over 27 content-specific recordings, which are jam-packed with how-to information, teaches you troubleshooting, and are full of tips and tricks. We hope this video has provided you with relevant how-to information that will save you time on data entry. We thank you and take care.